Hey everyone, we hope you had a great weekend. Absolutely, I know that we did. We did. It was a great weekend, waving the palms, singing out Hosanna to everybody, celebrating the King of Kings arrival in Jerusalem. Amen. What a great weekend. And every time that we're together, it's such an important reminder that we are family. Yes. Because we're connected, because we have that connection of God our Father through Jesus. You know, Michael, what I was hoping to do this week is that we got that whole connectivity thing. I was right. hoping that we could go outside and show, I have a good example for the connectivity, but the problem is, you know what happened, right? I do know yes. what happened. Yes, yes. Had a little snow event. A little spring snow storm. Yes, store. which is, ah, well, that is what it is, but we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some fun today anyway. That's right, and you know what we can do, Pete? We'll just do what it's so important for every good musician and every really mediocre actor to be able to do, and that's to just improvise a little bit, right? We'll do a little improvisation. Now, this plant is not necessarily what anyone would consider to be real, per se, but I think our friends at home will be able to use their imaginations. I think they're on board. Where did this come from? I, it was there, you know, we're ready to go. Now, if this plant were real, right. all the leaves and branches would continue to grow as long as they were connected into the root. To the root, right. right. If we watered it and it got some sunshine, the roots would make sure that the whole plant gets all the nutrients and the good stuff it needs to grow and to flourish. That is, unless you're like me, okay. and you have absolutely no green thumb oh, and yeah. no luck with plants. Yeah. And I've been In your my office. case, my house is where plants go to die. But that's actually not completely uncommon in the process no, of plants no. because even if you're really good with plants and you yeah. do everything just yeah. right, eventually some of the leaves are going to wither and die. Yes. It just happens. And that's where the next part of this whole process comes into play. Right? Okay. This might sound a little strange, but sometimes with plants, sometimes you need to trim them to help keep them to grow, okay? Trim them to keep them... Wait, where did those come from? The magic of television, Michael. Uh, what are you gonna do with the? Wait, Pete. No, Pete. What? Yeah, Pete. It's not. No, 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 no. Yeah. Pete. 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 No. <sighs> Look at that. It's not a real plant, Pete. That's not gonna grow back. And it's the churches. Uh, You're gonna get us in big trouble. It's not a big deal. We have a prop department. I'll get another plant sent over here. It's not a big deal. Pete, we don't have a budget for our props. We don't have a budget at all for these videos. At all. Oh, really? Really? You worry way too much. It's just a small piece. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. And how is anybody ever going to find out? Because this is not, this is not just an audition tape for home and garden television. Absolutely it not. It does fit in to the rest this week's I Am Statement. A nice setup, I Peter. Thought nice so. I setup, thought so. Peter. Well, this week's scripture passage comes from John 15, verses 1 through 16. And in this particular passage, Jesus is talking about just how important it is for all of us, not only to be connected to one another, but to be connected to Jesus and to our Heavenly Father through Him. And when you see the illustrations that Jesus uses to talk about that connectivity, I think, don't you think, Pete, I think our little greenhouse confidential here uh, is going to make a little more sense to you all. Except for the part where Pete cut off a piece of a fake plant and probably got us both Come pinched. Come on. Ugh. Stop. Stop. It's going to be fine. All right? Now, Here's some questions we want you guys to think about at home as you're working through the scripture that Michael told us about. First question, who are some of the important people that you are most connected to in your life? What makes them such an important part mm, of your life? That's a good question. To think I about, like that, right? It gives a lot to think about. And number two, to keep our relationship strong, it takes a little work. What are some things we need to do in order to nurture these connections and to keep these relationships strong? So important. We have to work yeah. at it, right, Pete? Every day. Lastly, why is it so important to stay connected with Jesus? Mm. And what are some ways that we can work at this? Really Very important. important. And I am so, so grateful for my church family, exactly. Mr. Pete. I know you are too. Yeah. I am so thankful to God that he has blessed me with especially all of you to be able to walk with and learn with and grow with and pray with. It's just one of the greatest blessings of my life. I couldn't agree with you more, Michael. And we want you to know that we'll be praying for you this week while you're answering the questions, having discussion with the family, and reading the Bible passages. Have a great couple days, and we'll be in touch with you on another video on Thursday. Absolutely. Take care, everybody. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.